This is a course about the theory of Lie groups and Lie algebras, a theory that was developed starting in the 19th century by the Norwegian mathematician Sophus Lee, and then by people like Cartan, Killing, uh, Weil, and many others through the 19th, 20th, and into the 21st century, and continues to be a source of ideas and inspiration for mathematicians and physicists to this day. So the first and most important thing you need to know about Lie theory is that it's pronounced Lie theory, not Lie theory. It's named after a guy called Lee. Second thing you need to know is that it's about the interplay between analysis and algebra. It uses tools from calculus and analysis to prove facts about groups and their representations. So if you have been going through your undergraduate career thinking, I'm more of a algebra person or I'm more of an analysis person, you're going to feel uncomfortable at some point during this course because it's going to use ideas from the other side. So you should really take advantage of that to revisit your you know background in whichever of the subjects you don't like as much and you know see it in action in this subject where maybe it gives you a reason to care about it in a way that you didn't before. The next most important thing I've lost a count of how many there are the next most important thing about this subject is that it's much too big for me to actually cover completely in a 10 week course like this one. So it's been developing for more than 100 years, like I say. So you know, there's no hope of me doing justice to this subject in 10 weeks. So the way I've structured the course hopefully will let you focus on the bits of the course that you find most appealing and most interesting. So let me talk a bit about the way the course is structured and, and hopefully it'll become clear what I mean. So um, here's how it's going to work. Each week there are going to be two live sessions. These live sessions will be the sort of contact time we have with one another. And as preparation for these live sessions, you need to watch some videos. There'll be a certain number of videos each week. And associated with those videos, there'll be some exercises for you to think about. And in the live session, we'll talk a bit about the exercises. As a group, we'll try and come up with solutions. Uh, we'll talk a bit about some worked examples, maybe. Work through them as a group. Um, I might ask you some questions to try and figure out how much you've understood. And you can ask me questions when there's something you really don't understand. It's really an opportunity for us to communicate about what we've understood from the material. It's not an opportunity for me to lecture, uh, so we should really think of it as discussion. So after the live sessions, there will be post-class problems, problems that you're now able to solve having learned the material from the videos with the help of the live sessions. And so these post-class problems are going to be the thing you submit as coursework. So I'm going to set more problems than you need to do. And the first aspect of letting you focus on what you think is most interesting is you have to submit four of these every fortnight. You don't have to submit all of them, right? There's going to be more than you can do really there. I'm going to set lots of problems and you can pick which ones you think are best. So each fortnight you'll need to so submit four of these uh, solved problems. And uh, we'll discuss these in an additional live session that I'm going to call workshop that we run every fortnight um, after you've handed them in. Okay, so this is the coursework component uh, that, that amounts to 40% of the grade for this course. Um, we're actually blessed in that this course doesn't have an exam, so the remaining 60% is going to come from a project. So this is just one in the whole term, an in-depth project. It has a written component and a presentation component. Each are worth 30% of the final grade. And this is really your chance to focus in on the aspect of the, of the course that interests you most. You know, do some digging, further reading um, beyond the videos and um, write about it and tell us about it. So let me say now, there are going to be more problems than you can handle. 
or you know more than necessary you only need to do four every fortnight of course you should try and do more than that because they'll give you an idea of uh, you know how much you've understood and you'll learn a lot by doing them but you only have to give in the four that you think were most interesting and there's going to be more videos than necessary as well so there will be additional videos there's a kind of core set of videos you'll need to watch each week before the live sessions but then there'll be additional videos that you can watch if you feel like I really want to see how this theorem is proved but he's not going to tell us in the main videos I'll have to watch an additional video to figure out or maybe these additional videos will be useful for you while you're doing your projects to learn a bit more in depth so this is for in-depth stuff and they're optional but you know it's about you picking what you think is most interesting to focus on the presentation and the written project will be due after Christmas basically to give you the chance to focus on things that happen late in term so let's suppose the most interesting thing in the course happens in the last week and does happen occasionally so you will want to have the Christmas break to be able to get on with uh, writing the project if you didn't get around to writing it during term time 